I heard somebody here really hates Halloween ends. How about you, noob noob? Is this live yet? It is. Oh. Oh my god. That's right, noob noob. We're talking about Halloween ends. We've already discussed this, but Red Letter Media and Pitch, Pitch meeting, meeting have already made two interesting points. So we're forced to react to them because Noob Noob's too stupid to admit when he's wrong. Uh-huh. I'm too dumb. So we Fuck will him. listen to Mr. Plinkett as he explains why... Halloween ends is a freaking amazing. It's not. It's amazing. I think balls. in 30 years you'll look back on the David Gordon Green movies and think that he was a genius. Oh my yes, god. Because Jamie Lee Curtis is a dumb cunt. Out of all the quality Oktoberfest beers I, out there, I really the low hope oh, this guy this is gets the wrong one. fucked in rectal, ca uh, rectal cancer. I'm going to have to find like the last 10 minutes. Here we go. Hold on. It's change and symbolism. It makes such perfect sense you kidding me i have to mute nan either way i'm pretty sure they make better points than you do mm -hmm. your points were i went to see stabby stabby yes i like stabby stabbies me so stabby despite the fact that many people were disappointed that the old michael myers didn't just stab people again the whole What he's supposed to do. Wah! You gonna cry more? Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Too tired. The time, for this. the way this movie was shot and a lot of the details in the script are pretty good, actually. Oh, it's a what? little anti-hero film about transformation and the nature of what makes people evil. A shockingly thoughtful premise coming right after the embarrassingly bad Halloween Kills. <laughs> Didn't you like? Halloween kills. No, I thought it was like. Let's talk meh. about the general motif of change and all the symbolism. Themes of transformation are all over the place. Mm -hmm. The obvious one is the catalyst family in the opening scene. The dad at the beginning is playing the piano in his mansion. In his mansion? Later on, we see him playing pool in some filthy bar. What Same a with the dirty mom bitch. And her downfall. The house itself visually is a symbol of negative change. Who gives a shit? These are themes. Doesn't matter. Irrelevant. Uh huh. How? Because it has good themes. You're like, I what theme? Where's the stabbing? I want stabby, stabby. Way. This has nothing to do with what they've set up at the previous movies. Zero. The piano keys is a motif I mean, that's repeated. Maybe. This guy sounds like he has like a fucking autism. I, I hope know. he gets fucking murdered. Where? So this is our inciting incident. <laughs> what caused this? The little brat kid, that's who. And the other over... That's pretty funny. The one part I want to get to, there, there's one part that's pretty funny. Here it is. You don't realize you're getting trolled, part dude. His mother. When the dad of the dead child is talking in the bar about trying to forgive Corey, very prominently behind him are neon dice on the wall. Their numbers add up to 12. In numerology, the number 12 stresses the importance of ridding your life of negative energies, ending toxic relationships, leaving a bad job, and approaching all situations with a new optimistic attitude. Yeah, he's completely trolling you about numerology. Yeah, that's like... How do you fall for this, that you think that this was smart? You saw stupid, but let's look at pitch meeting because yes, I think the he rightful a, video, the rightful video who actually does a good job. Oh, this does. is anymore, but you got that new Halloween movie for me. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. I do. Amazing. So this Amazing. one's going to take place four years after the events of the last movie, right? Oh yeah. And what's going on with Laurie Strode? Uh, you know, she's just kind of doing her best to live a normal suburban life, you know, just taking it easy. Really? Yeah, that is. That's what I wrote here. Why? What's up? It's just like two movies ago. We said she had spent like 40 years training and being paranoid just in case Michael Myers ever escaped from the asylum he was in. Right. And now Michael Myers has killed her daughter and is on the loose and she's just chilling. 
<laughs> Definitely, that's what she's doing. Yes. Plot hole number one, right? Yeah, no, she's chilling. Oh, okay, cool. So cool. anyway, we're gonna meet this weird 24-year-old dude named Corey, right? Hey, what's his deal? Well, his deal is that the movie's about him now. Oh, it is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean the guy <laughs> that they didn't set up for the previous two movies? Yes, the random dude for no reason. You've that's never heard of before? In it? Yeah. What about Michael Myers and Laurie Strode? Ah, uh, not so much, no. Isn't that what people would want to see, though? Who's to say? I mean, probably, <laughs> probably everybody. Okay, well, look, we could focus the marketing on Laurie Strode versus Michael Myers, but I think in terms of the actual movie, we're gonna really want to focus on this Corey guy. If you say so. So what's going on with, uh, Corey, was it? <laughs> So you're telling me the whole movie is about Corey? Huh? It's a lot of Corey. There's a lot of Corey. A lot of love and a lot of Corey and a lot of not stabby stabs. <laughs> <laughs> so where's my stabby stabs? I need Corey, more stabby yeah, stabs. and so three years ago he accidentally killed the kid he was babysitting, and the whole town hates him now. Like he gets bullied by some high school kids. Uh, like big football jocks. <laughs> oh, worse. Marching band. What? <laughs> yeah, these little marching band kids are real mean to Corey, and one day while they're bullying him, he hurts his hand. Uh oh. And so Lori brings him. He's like 30 years old, and they all look like vaguely yes. look like high How school he kids. got beat up by those pieces of shit. The one's like, I don't know if it's a woman or a fucking man. It's fucking atrocious. Uh-huh. And he's uh. like, I just killed a guy. Like, I just murdered a dude. Yeesh, how does he react? Yes, he doesn't really, so they keep on dating. Oh, okay. And then Corey's gonna bring this cop that used to date Allison into the sewer and kind of kill him with Michael. Oh boy, here we go. Michael Myers is back, maybe. Yeah. And also Corey. Mostly Corey. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> Mostly Corey. All the Corey. Oh, so much Corey. Double Corey. I don't know who that is. Then they're going <laughs> to kill another couple of people together, and Corey's going to be kind of consumed by the darkness and want to go on a killing spree. Uh-oh. But first, he wants Michael's iconic mask. Well, it's going to be impossible to get Michael Myers' impossible. mask off of him. Actually, it's going to be super, super easy. easy. Barely, barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, he just heads to the sewer and beats the crap out of him and <laughs> takes it from him. This kid that was... Why are they wrestling? There was a part where they were wrestling. Wrestling, right? They were, yeah. That was intensely wrestling. A lot of sexual touching. Urgh, let's just wrestle. Yeah. Let's just let's go back to this. Where's the have? Let's, let's see what they have to say. Oh, transformation. Then let's take a look at some transformation clues. Now it's no secret Corey is transforming into something evil. It's the fucking plot of the movie. For but no the script reason. has some lovely subtleties in it. You First off, of cunt. course, the pumpkins in the pumpkins. opening credit sequence symbolize pumpkins. evil, changing shape, or taking on a new shit. form. There's a mention of the death tarot card early on in the film. I oh, need no, it. I got the death card. No, that just means a major phase is ending and a new one is about to begin. There's a you know, where she, like, falls in love with a serial killer who just wants to kill For people. no reason. Who For gives a shit? There is a really good point that Pitch Meeting makes. Beaten yeah. up by some marching band kids, beats the crap out of Michael Myers. Yeah, just whoops his little psychopath button, steals his mask, and runs away. All right. So then he goes on a killing All spree, right. but when he gets to Lori, she shoots him. Oh, wow. Yeah, and he's not actually dead yet, and he tells her, if I can't Spoilers. have your daughter, no one can. And then he cuts his own neck. But if he's dead, doesn't that mean anyone except him can have her now? Oh, uh, yeah. Whoops. Whoopsie. Anyway, now... <laughs> Whoopsie, blah. Hole. Whoopsie. Oh, that's a plot hole. Whoopsie. A bit of visual symbolism of him transforming from his regular pedal oh, bike to a more powerful bike motorcycle. Powerful uh, motorcycle. I'm actually getting rid of the bike, so if you want it, you can have it. So powerful. I got a motorcycle. Which is given to him by one of the few people in the town that are actually nice to him. His dad or stepdad or whatever that weird-looking pear-shaped man. <laughs> Corey also loses his glasses because they get stepped on by the bullies. Usually when a character- Those bullies are so rude. Look how small these dudes are compared They're to- They're very him. tiny. So tiny. This is embarrassing. <laughs> it's a little embarrassing. Let's talk about Egypt. That's why they were used as tombs. A vehicle for transcending beyond the human form into something new and greater. Corey's caught on his hand is mentioned to be infected. Laura calls evil an infection. The suffering Michael caused became an infection. Well, she's writing her fucking little diary. Uh, okay, cunt. so 
Let me see if I can settle this entire this is discussion. Stupid. This is this is the I forgot I was supposed to defeat this entire All of it's argument. Very stupid. I don't really don't care anymore. Um. Okay. Friday the thirteenth. Which one has the? There's like a little worm in it. There's there's uh, one. With isn't a worm. that Freddy versus Jason? No, it's not. Then I don't know. It is not. Wait, why did the doctor eat his herm? Because Jason goes to hell? Is that, that's not the one with Jason. I don't know. The final Friday? There's been like 40 movies of Jason. So my point is, uh, they already did this movie that Red Letter Media likes so much. They did it with Friday the 13th, the final Friday, where they had... Um, Jason goes to hell where Jason is like a, he's like an infection, right? Just like the other movie, right? Where he's like a worm. He's like a, like a demon worm that spits out, like he spits it into another human being. You know what I'm saying? Did yeah. you not watch this one? Which one? I don't remember that shit. The one where it's like a worm and he's like, blah. Not remotely remembering that. Jason is like an infect. They kill Jason in the opening credit, right? And then uh, he ends up being like, he takes over other people's bodies because he's the embodiment of evil because he's like supernatural, which is not what Michael Myers is. Michael Myers isn't supernatural at all. They haven't set up that he's supernatural. No, none of this makes any sense to you. No. You don't remember the one where he's a worm that he spits into another human being's mouth. Nope. Well, well, then clearly you love the half in the bag version. I what? My point is that Friday the 13th already did this supernatural BS with the, uh, fr uh Jason's a, an evil being that can be transported between bodies. These guys from, from half in the bag are like, oh, we like the idea of it being an evil that can be switched from person to person. Friday the 13th already did it. Michael Myers is not Jason. Jason is not Michael Myers. Why would you think that a movie that is exactly the same as a Friday the 13th movie is a good movie is beyond me? See, I win. They just copied these jackholes who wrote Halloween Ends just copied Friday the 13th, Jason Returns to Hell. Because they're lazy. Yes, because they are jackholes who are it's lazy. It's time for the final act of the movie. So the guy we've spent the entire movie following doesn't make it into the final act. Correct, because now it's time for the big showdown. This has all been leading up to, uh, you know, mostly in the background, I guess. Which is? This old, weak sewer guy who was just beat up by a guy who was bullied by band geeks versus... A grandmother. <laughs> right. And so then they fight and the grandmother wins. Oh, uh, violent grandmas are tight. Yeah, they are. And so then the violent grandmothers are tight. Don't you love violent grandmothers? I do. Was that your favorite part of the movie? Sexually violent grandmothers. Was that your favorite part of the movie? Uh, None of it was my favorite part of the movie. The ending when it was over. <laughs> it was over and you were done with all this. Yes. Or before it started when I had hope. Yeah. So. And you have no hope anymore. I don't. You are hopeless. Fuck that movie. You hate it. Fuck everything about it. Fuck them all. Fuck them all. God. Oh so God. you don't agree with me? No? All right. I forgot what your point was. I think I fell asleep uh, midway through your talking. You're such a loser. Terrible. Just like I fell asleep during this piece of shit movie. You fall asleep during every movie. So. I do. Mm -hmm. I fell asleep very early in this movie, though. Not midway through like I normally do. Oh, okay. So you're a great movie reviewer. Fuck this movie. Well, uh, apparently Noob Noob can't stay awake to defend the movie that he hates. He's what am I defending? I, do, I don't him. even know what we're talking about. Friday the 13th. It sucks. That's no, wait, no. Friday the 13th's all right. It's just with Jason. Yeah. He stabby stabs. You don't remember? <laughs> he spits himself into another person. No. As long as he stabby stabs. As there's plenty of stabby stabs. Yeah. You know what this movie doesn't have? Stabby stabs. It does have some. Not enough. Oh, okay. 
Well, Michael Myers barely kills Not anybody. Not enough by fucking Corey. Piece Dude, of shit. Corey. Gets his I ass, hate Corey. Gets his ass beat by band people and getting you a flute didn't even stuck say up his ass. what you had in common with the video you put out before pitch meeting. What was that? Oh, that I called him a uh, geriatric sewer. sewer dweller. Yes. There was something else too. So you beat pitch meeting. I'm just putting it I out. I did. Yeah. Make you I, look better, but 100% you don't care. beat him. Yeah. No, I'm better than Obviously. pitch meeting. Obviously. What was the, there was two things though. Yeah, but you forget. So you're too Yeah, I'm dumb too tired to for that. that. Uh-huh. So hard. What was your argument? Like I won because of what? Because they just copied Friday the 13th. Oh, you that's Jason, it? stupid. Oh, okay. Oh my god, you're so dumb. Yes. Anyway, like tell this us this movie. Below, have you seen that Friday the 13th that I'm talking about where Jason spits himself into another thing, into another human being and he's just an embodiment of evil? Are you happy with what they did to Michael Myers and turning him from being a human being into a supernatural creature i don't think that was the point but do you let us know that more catch our full-length audio podcast it is on stitcher spotify itunes all those great places more for free to you catch all of them anytime you want we also live stream it friday nights on youtube here on youtube 7 30 p.m eastern standard time you can also catch us on the rumbles and if you don't like and subscribe, there's a chance that Noob Noob will just fall asleep. Yes. And then you will have to support him as he falls asleep. Very tired. And, you know, clearly works too hard for a living and I has trouble. Cuddles. Yeah, he likes working for, you know, Moo Moo Cows. I like cuddles, though. Anyway, uh, from all of us here at Our Views Will Kill You to all of y'all at home, we are on to the next one. <laughs>